What have you never told your parents? Oh, y'all trying to get me. Y'all trying to get me. What's somebody ever told my parents? Yo, shout out to Ryan I had this. Oh my goodness, my mom and dad can watch this too. Oh, hold up. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lee the Fourth. We back again with another video. You already know what's going on. My fault, guys. I'm hungry. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. Yo, I'm hungry. Which one is this? I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm really about to kill both of these. Who? Thumbnail, my fault. Yo, I really gotta kill both of these though. I wanna eat one, one before the other though. Hold on, which one is this one? Low key, this is a mukbang. Low key, I just ordered food. I forgot I, I was recording. So I was like, hold up now. Yo, where's my napkins? I got napkins in here bad. I told you guys to ask me some questions, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm gonna be scrolling through and answering you guys frequently asked questions. But I am hungry though. Excuse me for eating. This is a mukbang. I, okay, I had to say it's a mukbang low key. So y'all won't come at me in the comment. Mmm. Um, Mmm, 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 my fault. Mm hmm. Y'all about to make fun of my water, but I drink a gallon a day. A gallon a day, keep the haters away. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, give it the program, give it the program. Let's go now. <coughs> ooh, ooh, hold up. I'm about to die. First question What's, What products do you use in your hair? Ooh, what product? Guys, I need a new one. If you got a new hair product, I don't even want to shout out who I, what I use because y'all don't try to use it and I don't like this. But I use Cantu, but I really don't use Cantu, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't like it. So, um, unless they sponsor this video, then I might like it. But I'm just saying, like, so, um, how was life growing up? Life growing up for me was pretty simple. I would say pretty simple. Um, we moved around a lot. We moved from we moved from New York to North Carolina and back to New York to South Carolina to like, so we moved around a lot as a kid, but it was a, I had a good childhood, you know what I'm saying? My parents were, both my parents were in my life a whole, still to this day. So I really didn't have a crazy, wild childhood growing up, you know what I'm saying? Why has TikTok fans changed your life? Shout out to xo.nessa19, I see you. Um, why has your TikTok fans changed your life? Whoa, it's, it's reason like this, y'all. Like, y'all, y'all really, y'all have really just, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, I really just be doing it. Yeah. But, um, no, no, but for real, like, you guys really have changed my life in a way um, that y'all don't, don't even know yet. Like, we're growing on here, we're growing on here. We're about to hit 100K, y'all. We're about to hit 100K. I wouldn't be in LA. I wouldn't be right here right now. I would. We wouldn't be talking right now if you guys wasn't watching, you know what I'm saying? So you guys have changed my life in a whole bunch of ways. And we just getting started. Like I always say, like, y'all don't even know yet how, my, how crazy my life is about to change just from y'all just watching and supporting your boy. Just the love and support that you guys give me every day is what keeps me going every day. And I appreciate everyone of y'all for that, 100%, just like that. Ooh, uh, let's keep it going, uh, let's see. Shout out to Excellence for that. Um, what is my dream vacation? Mm hmm My dream vacation is, I wanna go to Spain. I wanna go to Spain so bad. If I can go anywhere in the world tomorrow, I will go to Spain, just like that. My favorite memory from Players, yo, my, <laughs> my favorite memory from Players Live was, um, shout out to Olivia, Olivia Dodger, shout out to you, I love you, Olivia. Um, I'm gonna say meeting y'all whole group. If y'all seen in my other playlist vlog, Ryan was like, Ryan Swayze, shout out Ryan Swayze. He was, um, he was saying, he was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just roll the clip, play the clip, play the clip. Swayze, the pimp, to the building. And like, we have Vidcon right now, and... This is where, what right now? Um, Vidcon. This is where, this is how Vidcon. Like, this is playing this live. Like, cut this like, three, two, one. Yeah, that clip. He was like, yeah, we're at VidCon right now. And I was like, yo, well, this is not VidCon, bro. Like, that was probably my favorite memory from Playlist, which is really good. Um, let's keep it on. What have you never told your parents? Oh, y'all trying to get me. Y'all trying to get me. What's somebody ever told my parents? Yo, shout out to Ryan I had this. Oh my goodness, my mom and dad can watch this too. Oh, hold up. Somebody never told them. Uh. Uh, next question, next question, shout out to Ryan for that one. Oh, um, how old do I want to be when I have kids? I don't want to be an old parent, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be an old parent. Um, I want to have kids by like, I would say the 28 to 30, 
31 range. That range. That range, you know what I'm saying? 28 to 31 range. I would say that. Um, yeah, shout out to shout out to Brazy Brazy Brace Face. Shout out to you for that. Do you have a girlfriend and where you from? Do I have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend no more. I had my first girlfriend in college. My freshman year in college, I was 17 years old in college. Yeah. Deep. And what was my favorite TV show growing up? My favorite TV show growing up was Avatar The Last Airbender was my favorite TV show growing up. That was my show. That was my show. That was the greatest. I'm not really an anime fan, but if that counts as anime, that's the best anime of all time, low-key. Anime people, ooh, hold up, don't come at me. Don't come at me. I'm just, I don't really watch it, but relax. Don't come at me like that. Do you like chicken nuggets from McDonald's? I do like chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I do, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really, I do eat McDonald's kind of a lot, though. Not really a lot, though, but chicken nuggets, I get them when I go to McDonald's. Hold up now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How tall am I? Ladies and gentlemen, if I get this question one more time. Actually, I actually don't really get tired of answering this question though, really. Um, but I'm six foot nine. What? Yeah, six foot nine. So when you see me in public, when you see me on the streets, I'm six nine. Yeah. <laughs> so how did I get TikTok famous? TikTok famous? Um, when I was in college, I just posted a lot in consistent, consistently. I posted a lot in consistent. I used to post like four or five times a day, like every single day for like a strong three months. Um, and I used to do like a whole bunch of classroom skits and people thought I was a teacher and I just kind of wrote with that. I just rolled with it. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, are you a teacher? You're always in this classroom. I just kind of rolled with that, you know? And eventually, I just gained 1.7 million followers like that, pretty much. Uh, but I switched it up though. I switched up a lot though. But y'all know, y'all know, y'all seen the videos. Y'all seen the videos. Um, if you haven't seen the videos, make sure you guys go check me out on TikTok right now. Leave the force. You know, we'll do that. Yep. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, this is a good one. My celebrity, my celebrity crush switches up a lot. Matter of fact, I like, um, I'm going to go, I think everybody got the same celebrity crush. I'm going to go Zendaya. Got to. Zendaya. Um, I have Zendaya. And then I have one that's kind of off. Like, y'all going to be looking at me like, what? But I know none of y'all would say this though. I low key got a crush on like, Alicia Cara, low key, low key, low key, low key. I just think she's, I just think she's cool. She's cool peeps, you know what I'm saying? So, though you got a crush on her. She sings that song. You know the song she sings, Wild Things, all that stuff. What's the most embarrassing thing I've done in public? The most embarrassing thing I've done in public. Um. Mmm. Mmm. I went on this date in high school. Yo, boy was so nervous, right? The waiter's coming to bring us our food, right, on this big plate. The food, I'm like reaching for the food, right? And I like try to like grab the plate out of the waiter's hand. I drop the plate on the ground in front of my date and like, it was like her food and my food, like all on the ground. So that was pretty embarrassing to me. I was like, damn, I'm clumsy, you know what I'm saying? So that was like, that was probably, I was pretty embarrassed that day. Oh, excuse me. So, um, what else? Let me see. What is your type? I don't think I really got a type. I don't got no type. For real. What is my favorite thing on TikTok? My favorite thing on TikTok is probably the dance trend. I like the dance trend now. You know, I like to hit my whoa, you know what I'm saying? What made you do TikTok? Oh, I get this question asked a lot. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a bite. Hold on. What made me do TikTok was My little sister, man. My little sister. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. To this day. To this day. I but um, no, it was my little sister though. My little sister had Musical.ly back in the day. And she was like, hey, Lee, you should get on this new app called Musical.ly, you know what I'm saying? You could probably start, you could probably blow up from it, you know, because like, I just kind of went, went, she went viral at the time on it. And she was like, hey, you need to start this new app called Musical.ly. And I was like, in high school, I was kind of thinking like, oh, I really didn't care. I really didn't want people to see all my videos and stuff like that. I was kind of shy in high school. So, um, I would like post a video like once a month or something like that. So, but my sister got me into it. So, if it wasn't for my sister showing me, I wouldn't be where I was. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, little sis. What's my biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? I can't stand when people blow their nose like in public regardless. Especially one if you're eating, if you're eating food and you're blowing your nose at the table. 
Oh. You gotta go. I gotta go. You gotta go. Now we can't be friends. We can't be friends anymore. If you wasn't doing YouTube, TikTok in two years, what would you do? What would I do in two years? If I wasn't, oh, I'd be like an actor. I'd be like doing, I'd be um, doing like acting. I'd be like in a TV show or something like that. That's what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing TikTok or YouTube in two years. How do I deal with hate comments? This is how I deal with hate comments. You know, I feel like I'm really immune to negativity. Like if I see a hate comment, I'm just like really just reading right over it. Like I pay it no mind. It doesn't phase me at all. It pays me no mind. You know, I'm not about to sit here and just, I'm not about to argue with you over the internet, over a comment. Comment what you want. You know what I'm saying? If it's not positive, if it's not positive, don't comment basically. That's what I'm saying. If it's constructive criticism, okay, I understand that. But you just blasting, you're not getting a response from me, 100%. You won't ever get a response from me, any from anything negative. How do you feel when you see that many people look up to you? I think it's dope. Play this live was the first time that I actually experienced like a lot of people come up coming up to me at once, telling, me, "Oh, I love your videos" and stuff like that. So I'm kind of new to this, all this, y'all. Low key, I'm new to this. Like when people come up to me in public, like that's just happen, starting to happen more and more and more. So. I think it's awesome. Like, if you ever see me in public, how you see me online is how you see me in public. Like, I'm the same energetic, you know, goofy, funny, tall. You know, that's the first thing you're gonna see. So, but I love it. I think it's like, it's just like, wow, I'm really, I'm really doing something. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm finally doing something for in my life. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I, that's really how I feel. How did you come up with your name? So, my dad's name, this is simple, y'all. How did I come up with Lita Fourth? Um, I am like the fourth Lee in my family, like my dad's name, my dad is the third, my his, my grandfather is the second, and his my great-grandfather is the first. So therefore, do, 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 Lee the fourth, you know what I'm saying? Boom. When did you start YouTube and why? So I posted my, a YouTube video like a year ago, like one video, but I didn't really start like strong as I am now until like, um, what was it called? Vlogmas, thank you, until Vlogmas. And why did I start it? Because... I would always watch YouTube videos of like these different just different YouTubers and stuff um, when I kind of when I was younger and I loved how at the end of their videos I loved the way I felt after watching the videos I felt like I was connected to them I felt like I knew them without even knowing them I was like yo I want to I want people to have that same feeling when I'm done with my videos when I'm done with my with my um TikToks or my all my different videos that I do I want people to feel have that same feeling or even a better feeling when they get done watching my videos. So that's why I started YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Who's your crush? Like what you mean like a crush? Like a TikTok crush? Like a like a like an internet crush? Like a like a what you talk about now? What we talk what we talk about now? Five thousand likes, I might drop my TikTok crush down below. What? Hold on now. The head is away right here. I'm trying to tell you. Ah. But yes, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that um, mukbang Q&A, all that stuff. Hope you guys. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, guys, and follow me on all my other social medias down below. You already know it's your boy Lita Ford, and we out of here. Yo, I need another intro, yo. Outro. I need an intro and an outro. Someone told me, shout out to somebody, I was like, yo, I might have to hit this. Y'all might, might have to help me on, on my outro. Help me on my outro down below. Let me know. You might be featured in my next video too. If you help me on my outro. I don't know. What we're going to say? Lead the fourth be with you. We out. Lead the fourth be with you. We out. You. Oh, hold up now. We might have done something. We out of here. Peace. All right, now. Y'all go ahead and leave. Let's get that up. Video's over. I don't know what y'all doing. I'm about to clean up. All right. What is you doing? What, what is you doing back here? What is you doing back here? You just freaking nothing, bro. Did you, did you even help, bro? Can you help clean up? Bro, forget.